On 8th March, the world was celebrating women and their impact in the economy, in the society and in their communities. What a better way today than to celebrate an epic woman who is right here with us on set today. Mm -hmm. This amazing woman is an award-winning gospel music minister. She's a renowned TV host and the founder of Epic Women Africa, which is a community of empowered, prayerful, influential, and Christ-like women navigating life relationships and culture as modern women of faith. I am speaking of none other than Joyce Omondi Wahiga. Hey. <laughs> I'm even blushing like... <laughs> I'm trying to control, but I'm feeling my cheeks going like this, but I'm trying to be like, Tulia, Tulia. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Karibu sana. It's such a joy to have you and also to say welcome back to Sitam Church yes, Online. Yes, hey. it's been a while. It's Hello, Sitam Church Online family. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Great to have you back. Thank you. I'll just jump straight into the conversation. Um, what is Epic Women? Wow. So Epic Women is a community that seeks to inspire, to teach, to grow mm. um, women who are unapologetic about being Christ-like. And Epic stands for empowered, prayerful, influential, and Christ-like women, as you've said. Mm -hmm. And it really is um, just based on a burden for us to live out our lives according to biblical womanhood, according to the standard that God set for himself as far as who women are supposed to be and how they're supposed to carry themselves. Mm. And so we do all that by holding monthly virtual Bible studies mm. where we focus on a woman Bible character mm. of the month. Um, and that's who we study. And then every quarter we have in-person uh, meetings which we call epic women assemblies it's the gathering of this tribe this community <laughs> this army of women that are true. seeking to be unapologetically christ-like mm. as we're navigating life as we're navigating mm. relationships and culture as these modern day women of faith mm. yeah awesome excellent let me just um ask uh joyce you know in matthew chapter 25 verse 14 through to 30 Jesus is giving a parable about a man who um, had servants and he had to go for a very long journey and he gave them talents. To one he gave five, to another he gave two, to another he gave one. Yeah. And I believe that even as we talk about women, God has given each one of us a talent mm -hmm. and he's expecting us to make use of those talents. Mm -hmm. um, what came to your mind when you were starting Epicron? What What inspired you? to start this talent, to start this amazing community of women? Wow, the, the truth is, yeah. um, so I think it was a, a mixture of different things. On the one hand, I think just out of the, the ministries that I do, being a musician, being in television as a media personality, mm -hmm. um, I was getting a lot of requests for mentorship. And I just was not wow. able to do one-on-one -on -one mentorship, mm -hmm. right? So I kind of was just trying to be like, ah, Lord, me, me, introvert, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I'm like, that's not for me. Um, but also just the practicality of doing that for everybody was mm -hmm. rather difficult. Um, then I took a trip uh, out of the country and I was at this meeting and I remember meeting people that I, you know, would look up to in sort of like the corporate and the development and economic mm. space which is my academic training mm. and i was so intrigued by them but when i got the chance to meet them one-on-one -on -one, i was just i was rather puzzled because their their language was just not godly <laughs> their you know even just the perspectives i think on um womanhood or you know where god would be placed mm. as far as relationships even between men and women or you know what a woman's role is in society mm. it just felt very competitive mm -hmm. um in in the world as as far as how the world is looking at what women should be today and listen i mean i'm all about women power and everything mm. but I am also a believer and I also believe that God has laid out in his word yes. how we're supposed to carry ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I think that really was the impetus because I was like, hey, I've been admiring these people from afar. <laughs> but now that I've actually gotten a chance to engage with them one on one, I'm like, something is off. Something is missing. Mm -hmm. And I started questioning who then are Christian women 
like associating with right and like wow. where do we go when we want to just have wow. like a girl's thing and Same. just hang out and network yeah. with one another mm. are there people who think like me you mm. know that yeah i'm a go-getter and i'm that i'm that babe <laughs> but at the same time i am submitted to what god says i am supposed to be mm. and so epic kind of evolved from that from being i think we need a space where christian women have a place where they can identify with like-minded women uh, but also a place that we are um, challenged to continue thinking the way we are thinking mm. but to grow deeper in those roots and to understand that our power as women is not because of what we look like it's not because of the connections that we have it's not because of you know where we go and what uh, qualifications we may attain mm. but that first and foremost it is rooted in God's word and that that word applies even today as modern women because I think there's a way that we kind of think I your Bible no 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 that's from like 2,000 years ago mm. but I think God's word is still so full and so rich of practical advice of how a woman today can thrive even as she loves Jesus with everything wow and just to to um to point on to what you're saying Joyce I believe that there's so many women right now who are watching um they start a vision or they start a dream and then along the way, it just fizzles out. <laughs> you know, Ama, yeah. you just you tend to compare yourself with other people, or you tend to get discouraged along the way. What keeps you going? <laughs> what <I'm>, keeps <laughs> you going? <laughs> I'm laughing not at anybody, but I'm literally <laughs> laughing at myself yeah. because I feel like I've been in that place so many times, mm. right? Like, um, I'm 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 a person who really likes just my space. Like, let me do my Enjoy thing, right. and then I just take my time yeah. off. Um, and this obviously is putting myself out there in, in a huge way, right? Um, <laughs> um, I think as far as what keeps me going, I think in, the, in his own way, just the Holy Spirit just did not give me rest, right? Yeah. So every time I'd be like, yeah, mm. we're not doing this, you know, either someone would come with a word that literally confirms the things that I've been feeling wow. and hearing. And I'd hear that so many times. Um, the request to do mentorship or to start something would oh, still wow. keep coming. And I think just even in that time of, of reading God's word and understanding, hey Joyce, you know, I've been blessed. Mm. Um, A, to have parents who have sort of instilled value in me to really understand my worth as a woman. Um, and so even as I'd be scrolling through social media and I'm just seeing like what fellow women are doing sometimes, mm. like I'd, I just feel so broken by it. And I was like, okay, if I'm not going to be part of the solution, I better stop complaining about the problem. Mm. So I, I think it, it was literally just God like, Gyoko. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly it's still a process of learning i can't say that you know i i have arrived or that i have the like blueprint of how to do it but mm. it's it's literally just a walk of obedience and saying okay god you've blessed me with a platform you've given me i i guess you could say an authority in some way mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. And so that needs to be used mm -hmm. for his glory because yeah. at the end of the day, we're blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. And we'll just talk about that a little bit more in our part two of this. For now, I also want us to um, dive a little bit more into this online community that you have created. Right. Um, I had an opportunity to do uh, Ruth, the book of Ruth and the study. Let me tell you, it was amazing. Thank I could you. not even believe there were thousands and hundreds of women who joined that evening and um just explain to us a little bit more of how can somebody plug in uh what what are some of the activities that you guys do right. within epic women so epic women is entirely free to join um and even now all of our events are free uh and uh initially we used to charge for it but i, I felt very strongly god was just asking us not mm. to um, so in our monthly virtual Bible studies, which is the one you spoke at, yeah. um, we have ladies join in onto the call and we go through a very short devotional on this woman Bible character. Mm -hmm. But what happens is it's also an opportunity for people to ask questions, mm -hmm. right? Because we're trying to interrogate, say, Ruth's life, mm -hmm. you know, what made her an epic mm -hmm. woman or not an epic woman, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, how does she reflect God? How does she reflect 
Christ mm -hmm. and what are really the lessons that we're supposed to be drawing from her life. Mm -hmm. So we have an opportunity to discuss that and women get to ask questions as well, mm -hmm. right? You know, when we're talking about either Jezebel and Scandalous or <laughs> you're talking about <laughs> Ruth and all, you know, just the drama, like, yeah. Aish, is that the way to find a dude? Like, am I just supposed to go throw myself on the threshing floor? Like... <laughs> <laughs> on his feet right at his yeah. feet like isn't that scandalous too so we yeah. get to ask these questions mm -hmm. that perhaps in a more formal setting with church we might not be able to mm -hmm. um, and then after that we have a time of prayer just in response to what we've learned and so to be part of epic women is very simple people mm -hmm. just need to head over to uh, www.joyceomondi.com mm -hmm. forward slash epic women mm -hmm. and right there they can register uh, you'll be part of our mailing list so that you always get you know our announcements mm -hmm. and there's also uh whatsapp communities that we have as well to mm -hmm. just keep people in the know yeah but even our social media platforms mm -hmm. at epic women africa um that's really like a big point of information mm -hmm. yeah and awesome. so in the months that we don't have the bible studies yes. is now when we have the physical assembly yes tell us about the physical assembly i like the shoulder <laughs> movement <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the physical assembly is just it's an incredible time it's an impactful powerful transformative mm. time our prayer as epic women for that time is really just the manifest presence of god yeah. for women to come in one way and leave with their lives having been touched and changed mm. by jesus and so it's a time of fun it's a time of fellowship uh, there's a whole hype set where you come in and we're just <laughs> dancing and we have a great time. Yeah. Uh, and then we get into the word and we have a speaker mm. who will come in and it's different women. So not necessarily pastors, yeah. but just different women who we believe God has kind of uh, uplifted yes. and would have a message that the rest of us can learn from. Mm. So they actually get to share uh, on a topic. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we do a Q&A. So yeah. that's where I get to utilize some of my skills in media yes. and we'll have a conversation. I'll interview them just about their life, their career, their mm -hmm. family. The audience gets to send in questions as well mm -hmm. to ask them. And then we get to my favorite part, which is the prayer, <laughs> prayer. time. Oh, it is a oh, it is a powerful time. <laughs> yeah. um, and I, I, I just love that time because you can just really feel God Amen. in the room with his daughters. Wow. And that's that's the most important thing. Amen. So, yeah, that's the assembly. Amen. And uh, once we've composed ourselves again, <laughs> it's back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a great time again as we as we wrap up the evening. Amen. Yeah. Tell us about uh, 25th March. Yes. What should we expect? So 25th March is going to be our very first in-person physical assembly of 2023. Uh, this time, by God's grace, we are going to be at Nairobi Cinema. Awesome. Uh, and we'll be meeting there from 2 p.m. And uh, our speaker is going to be Apostle Angie Murenga, who, if you if you know anything about her, you know <laughs> she's done Unstuck. She's the CEO of Kingdom Business Solutions. Mm -hmm. She's She's... A powerful woman who I think has really understood purpose and living out your calling and being an apostle even in the marketplace. Mm. And so we're going to be talking about living out your purpose um, and challenging us that, you know, your purpose, it, it is wherever you're placed that mm. God has a purpose for you. Mm -hmm. And he actually desires to demonstrate his power in and through your life mm. and so that's what we're going to be talking about i think in the time and the season we live it is so critical that as women we yeah. are stepping up to the plate yeah. of what god has called us to do and yeah. it's still the it's just just the tail end of the first quarter but if you're in a place where you're unsure you know about your purpose or even mm. maybe a bit stuck as far as even the rest of the year mm. this is going to be an important meeting for you to really just begin to understand mm. like all that or even just get excited mm -hmm. because we may not even fully understand yeah. all that god has for us yeah. his word says that he's able to do exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly above all we could ever yeah. ask think or even imagine, imagine. Yes. and so this is just that place to just come in wakisha that fire mm, in you jump start jump start Stakidogo. exactly <laughs> so just so that you can understand yo your life has meaning and Amen. you are valuable and yes. god wants to work through you and in your life and Amen. so I'm looking forward to it. I am also looking forward. I'll definitely be there. If yes. you are watching, please, 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 <laughs> please make your way to Nairobi Cinema on 25th 
March. Please tell us a little bit more on how guests can register. Yes, so again, entry is absolutely free. So come, looking all cute, our colors are purple. <laughs> I like your t-shirt, baby. Thank you. They're also gonna be on sale awesome. on that day. Awesome. Um, so our colors are like purple and lavender. It's very feminine. Yeah. Um, but it, you, hey. Also, let me just say, I love the decor you guys do on stage. Oh, the decor Thank is amazing. You. Yeah. Thank you. So. Um, it's absolutely free to register. Head over to epicwomen.eventbrite, B R I T E dot com. Um, and you can register for yourself. You can invite a friend as well and register for them as well. Um, and then you don't need to print it out, but you can just show the ticket when you come on the day uh, just to help us make sure those logistics are all good. Awesome. And also get the numbers. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you so, so much, Joyce. Thank you. We definitely are going to be doing a part two of this. And in a part two, we are going to be looking at what are some of the things that influence the decisions that we make in terms of us being stewards of what God has already given us and what God has blessed us with as women. Thank you once again for joining us with this discussion. You can connect with us on Seatown Church Online. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Joyce, how can guests connect with you? Please catch up with me at Joyce Omondi. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. At Aniko TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Imagine. Awesome. Joyce Omondi official <laughs> over on TikTok. And you can follow Epic Women at Epic Women Africa on both Facebook and on Instagram as well. And we hope to see you on the 25th. God bless you guys.